Hey everyone, this is Manly Banasuru and welcome back to Makoto Mobius. Previously in Makoto Mobius, we failed three times in a row, and now the loop continues. I have to mention this ending's pretty much the same as the other one. Although maybe this time it'll look like a suicide instead of a murder. If fate said Makoto would die. If fate said Makoto's father would kill me. Then I'll just keep them asleep tonight. That way. No one will die. A June 23rd where no one dies. This is the answer I've come up with. It took me a while. I had to make one of her friends commit suicide for some stupid reason. I went back to my house. That day, my mother died. Ah, oh, some equivalent exchange bullshit. This also reminds me of a Twilight Zone plot with the box, where they're like, if you open this thing up, you get a billion, million dollars, but somewhere, somewhere, someone's gonna die. And then, you know, the whole gimmick is, when you do open it, he takes the box and says, well, I'm gonna give it to someone else, implying that if they open the box, then you die, essentially. Weird. So no, no light up the house and fire blow up everyone ending. We draw the line there, but everything else, no, we're fine. Hi. I'm Spider-Man. I mean, Batman. Whichever one doesn't creep you out more. You know what? Just call me Logan. What? This beautiful girl's heart had been stamped with a knife. I didn't. For some reason, taking a closer look equated with stabbing her. If she was hopelessly destined to die, if she couldn't escape her cruel fate, then the very least I could do was ease her suffering with my own hand. Which, which really actually isn't easing her suffering at all. It looks extremely painful. Uh, I'm apparently very bad at making decisions. I guess nothing just makes sense. Something hit my head quite hard. I dropped to the floor. It was probably the father noticing I just murdered his daughter. Wait, what? Was this a dumb decision? Yeah, I know.
Okay. I'll see you in the next loop. Yeah, I kind of agree. Speaking of which, why aren't you doing this instead of me? Elsai, Kongu. Placing the curse. Got a paper in a Finlock strip. Uh, nah. Mobius strip curse. Ah, that's one of my one of my abilities is cursed, huh? And death flag me, I have to kill myself to escape. Not really escape, more like die. But everyone else escapes. Uh. No way to remove the curse. Curse host dies, the time loop will end. Huh. No, this is the only way. I'm a complete idiot. So only I have to die. It happened right when I was about to leave. Someone pulled on my sleeve. It was Makoto. I tried. Yep. Oh, I know. No. I must go. And then these series of stupid choices. As romantic as that sounds, um, we gotta end this game sometime, so... How long has this been going on now?
This really is not going to work out for us. It's just going to be a series of loops of me killing you, and you killing me, and... Not really a healthy relationship. Oh, shit. How many times has it been now? What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the ring of fate, you always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, then continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. You just maybe the patsy to make her live, didn't you? I left the house. I had realized it. If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. That way, the world can stay in balance, Makoto's life can be saved, and then I can realize I was really dumb, and most of my decisions were just awful, and have been played since the start. It was a simple idea. One person has to die, therefore. If I, in irregularity, disappear, this nightmare will be over. Makoto won't die, and neither will her dad. Mikio will survive as well. I'll just fade away without Makoto or Mikio knowing. This might not even be the right answer, but... There's only one way to find out. I looked at the kitchen knife I was gripping. And just like that. You and I were the same. Today will end. And tomorrow will finally come for you. You've been released from fate's loop. Nothing will tie down your life anymore. You should live. Twin was actually really short. It seems like the ending just got progressively shorter as we went on. Though I suppose you can only talk and show so much on some of them. Maturo, 
has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. I... I don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me has died. Oh no. I know what this means. Even though he had disappeared. It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I do get a strong feeling of deja vu though. Like we're all just pawns in one big game. I'm not even sad. I didn't have a single connection to him. He was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without him. The same quiet everyday life. He was gone, but my life would go on. Oh god, I can I know exactly what's gonna happen. Oh. I honestly thought that Miko was gonna come up and act like she was his friend and start the loop. I mean, maybe that's what's implying that she's gonna be approached and like, Oh, you can save him. You'll know him, but you can save him. Or it could just be, it is actually over and the curse is gone. and It's just kind of like, rhymes like poetry situation where... Uh, Makoto kind of has the same feelings and kind of experiences what you felt, but will not do the whole curse thing. And your sacrifice is not in vain. But I do like that sinister implication that it isn't, and she's gonna do what Makoto did, and that she's gonna kind of do what your main character did, and it's just gonna kind of go on and on together, uh, forever, essentially. Anyway, so... In the end, this game was a bit different than the other ones, which I like. Um, I had a little bit more of a game, but they're all still glorified visual novels in the end. At least this one wasn't just some psycho people killing each other kind of thing. It had some time traveling cliches, and it's usually always the main character has to sacrifice himself in the end. I think Butterfly Effect did this. Donnie Darko did this. Zionsgate had a happy ending. And I guess... I guess Madoka kind of did this, and then it kind of retconned it, and then kind of... It's complicated with that one, but... It's usually always the main character has to sacrifice himself, or someone has to die to stop the loop. And probably the only true happy ending in the entirety of these type of storylines is... Back to the Future. And that's just because Marty McFly is just that cool. Anyway... So, thank you all for watching me play... Makoto Movius. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.